Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. In previous video modules, we have covered the law uh, of demand and the law of supply. Uh, in this video module, we are going to bring together these two uh, very important uh, statements about uh, market uh, behavior uh, into a single supply and demand curve uh, graph, such as the one as we have uh, here on the board. The downward sloping demand curve uh, reflects the fact that if uh, price goes down, people buy more uh, of the good. That is, price falls, the quantity goes up. Uh, the upward sloping uh, supply curve indicates that um, uh, when the price goes up, the quantity supplied uh, will uh, go up. We know that th these relationships hold because as you lower the price of the good, the marginal value of the additional units of these goods uh, declines. And the consumer will not buy beyond uh, Q2 uh, units uh, at price P2. Uh, because the value of those units is lower than the price. Uh, by the same token, uh, producers are willing to offer Q3 uh, because the marginal cost of production of these, all of these units up to Q3 is lower than uh, the, the price. Now, price is not the only determinant of how much uh, consumers are willing and able to buy of a good, and it's not the only determinant of how much the producers are willing to buy. As indicated in other video modules and as indicated in the textbook, uh, the uh, demand can be influenced by a host of factors. Price, of course, is one of those factors, but consumer tastes and preferences is another factor. The price of other goods, whether they're complements or substitutes, is important. Consumer incomes are important, the number of consumers are important, and of course the expectations concerning future prices and incomes are going to affect the, the current demand uh, for good. And we've covered those issues in the textbook and other video uh, modules. We have also noted that the, there are determinants of supply uh, other than the price. Price is there, but still there are things like uh, change in uh, productivity that can influence the uh, uh, the level of the supply curve, the change in profitability of producing other goods can influence the supply of any particular good simply because it changes the cost of production. A change in the scarcity of various resources can, in fact, influence uh, uh, su the supply of the good. Well, in this video module, we want to go uh, to the point of changing supply uh, and demand. We can start by talking about a um, about an increase uh, in demand. Suppose that the demand curve rises from D1 uh, to uh, D2. Uh, What's going to happen in the market? Well, we know that at an initial price of P1, the quantity uh, supplied is still going to be Q1 because the supply curve hasn't moved at all. Now, with the increase in demand, and again, that increase in demand can be the result of any number of factors, those that we've listed and some that we've not listed. For example, the demand for ice cream might go up because uh, the temperature has gone up. Well, at price P1 initially, there will be Q2 quantity uh, demanded and Q1 uh, supplied. We will have what we have called in the past a market shortage. Uh, that means that there are consumers out here who are willing to pay more for the good than they are paying, uh, and they are willing to bid the price up. There are producers who would be willing to uh, supply a larger quantity if, in fact, the price were to go up uh, to compensate them for their rising uh, marginal cost of production. Well, consumers can bid the price up, or the producers can just charge more. The result of the higher price, however, is going to be, there's going to be a drop in the uh, quantity uh, demanded. Why? Because the price goes above the marginal value of these uh, units. So the price is going to go uh, up to uh, P2, and the quantity is going to go to uh, Q3. Uh, there's going to be, on balance, a net increase in the quantity, and there's going to be, on balance, an increase in the price. 
the quantity offered on the market by producers goes up because the price goes above the marginal cost of expanded production. Uh, the amount uh, consumers are willing to buy goes up, uh, but still it is it, the amount they're willing to pay or buy uh, is curbed by the increase in the price. What you need to note is that uh, we've said here that the demand goes up. Well, there can be all kinds of other changes in the market. Uh, there can be a curb in supply, increase in supply. Uh, the point of this analysis is that we know that if you have an increase in demand, the quantity purchase is going to be higher than it otherwise would have been the case uh, had the demand curve uh, not increased in this manner. We know otherwise also uh, that the price will be higher than it otherwise would have been uh, given the increase in demand. Now we can take another uh, case in which uh, the demand uh, declines. Let us suppose that the demand curve goes from uh, D, D1 to uh, D2. There is a uh, decrease uh, in the demand for the good. Why it goes down? Well, it can be a drop in the number of consumers, a decrease in their taste, or any number of other uh, considerations. We note here that, the, that at the initial price, P1, the quantity supplied is again going to be Q1 because again the supply curve has not changed. The quantity uh, demanded is now going to be uh, Q2. The quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded. You have in this market uh, a surplus of, of this particular good. Uh, that means that cons producers are willing to offer more than there are uh, consumers who are willing to buy the units. There are producers out there willing to charge less than uh, P1 because their marginal co cost is less. So producers can start competing the price down. As the price comes down, the producers contract the quantity uh, supplied. Why? Because the price, as it goes down, uh, goes below the marginal cost. If the price is below the marginal cost of production, uh, then the producers are, are losing money on producing those units. So they will curb their output. We know that the market will move from uh, this intersection of the two uh, thick lines to this one, which means that in equilibrium, uh, the price uh, will go down from P1 to P2. On balance, the quantity uh, uh, supplied and demanded uh, will also go down. With the price reduction, we have a greater uh, amount being consumed than would have been consumed had the price not changed. The main point of this analysis is that given the decrease in demand, regardless of what happens to supply, uh, it could go up or down. But what we know from this analysis is that if the demand curve goes down, the price will go down by more than it otherwise would be, or it will be lower than it otherwise would be. We also know that the equilibrium quantity that is uh, consumed and, and produced is going to be lower than it otherwise would have been.